Hey everyone, it's Nick over at NJ's Bricks and today we're going to take a look at some of my favorite minifigures from my personal collection. Uh, as you can see here we've got some Stranger Things, Friends, we've got Seinfeld, Star Wars, Winnie the Pooh, all kinds of different Star Wars. We get some Bad Batch, we get some Mandalorian related figures, some tr Stormtroopers, superheroes. First up here we've got Will Byers from Stranger Things. Uh, some really nice printing on the torso here and a pretty uh, accurate hair piece. We get the short legs because this is for season one version, so little guys. Here is a Demogorgon. It's got hip and leg and toe printing on these like special molded legs. Uh, so this is a pretty sweet figure. Obviously the custom molded head is the showpiece Next up here, we've got Mike Wheeler. He's got his walkie-talkie and flashlight equipped and ready to go. Nice torso printing on this one. And another reasonable hairpiece. Dustin Henderson next. This figure is awesome. He's got a combo hat hairpiece. He's got an awesome facial expression. He's got the compass and the walkie-talkie. Uh, this is probably my favorite of the four kids, perhaps. Um, but obviously we cannot forget Lucas. He's got his bandana look here. Great torso printing. Uh, also has a flashlight and comes with his trusty uh, slingshot or wrist rocket. Next we have Levin with her Ego. Uh, this is her obviously wearing disguised outfit. Um, I think this is a pretty awesome figure. It actually comes with the fabric skirt which is great, and uh, a nice hair piece to top it all off. Chief Jim Hopper, and what can you say, mornings are for coffee and contemplation, and being an awesome minifigure. Some great torso printing, and obviously hat, uh, to round out the Hopper look. This is an awesome choice figure because you has got this painting here that Will had made of himself, Will the Wise, his D&D character. Uh, the wizard, so I think that's super awesome. Um, a fairly accurate figure, nothing uh, super crazy going on. Now we have some friends figures. This here is Rachel Green uh, in her plaid skirt. And this figure is kind of remarkable because it has leg printing and toe printing on the sides, uh, both sides of the legs, so it's extremely detailed in that respect. Uh, this is a Janus figure, which uh, doesn't have any leg printing unlike the last figure, but it has a really awesome facial expression and a big old wild hair piece and a nice little bag as an accessory. So I really like this Janus figure. Here we have Joey Tribbiani, uh, red scarf. And this is Joey wearing all of Chandler's clothes. Now this is a bummer to see that they didn't do any printing on the side of the legs here. I, I don't understand sometimes why they choose to give it in some figures in a set and not others. This figure here is Phoebe. It has no leg printing. Um, you know, cool facial expression, nice hair piece, but overall a lot less impressive than the Rachel figure because it just has a lot less detail. Similarly, this is a uh, Ross dark bluish gray shirt version. Um, and yeah, nothing particularly special going on. We've seen this hair piece on tons of other figures in a bunch of colors. Uh, it's a basic shirt printing, plain black pants. Here we have Chandler. He doesn't have any leg printing, but he's got an excellent facial expression, a really neat hair piece, and he's got um, some nice printing, especially in the tie detailing. So a little more lively than the Ross figure. Here we have a Monica Geller apron. Uh, I really like how the apron printing goes through the hip and onto the leg piece. It gives it a nice full look um, that I think is pretty great, even if it again doesn't have any printing on the side of the legs like the Rachel figure did. Here we have George Costanza from Seinfeld. He's got a fishing rod and a baguette uh, accessory pieces here. An interesting little balding hair piece they have on top. And this is a pretty accurate representation of George. Elaine Bennis here and kind of a plain figure because just the plain black legs. You can see she's carrying the goldfish here. Um, a nice detailed hair piece and an okay torso piece. 
kind of medium on this figure for me. Uh, Jerry Seinfeld here, also kind of a plain shirt, just the black pants, nothing particularly exciting. They got his kind of pseudo mullet situation going on, so a really accurate hair piece. You appreciate that at least. Uh, this is Kramer, he's got another pretty cool hair piece, uh, although honestly it could have been wilder looking. Yeah, definitely an accurate torso with his brown jacket there and you love the accessories the pretzels are making him thirsty here we have rabbit from Winnie the Pooh with carrot accessory a really nice kind of light shade uh, here it was kind of hard to capture on camera had to change a lot of settings up to show it mostly accurate here but it's a really nice color here we have Eeyore with bow that little bow comes off on the side Fully custom molded figure here, so obviously super accurate. Awesome that they did these figures with all these custom molded pieces for the set, uh, just to make them really accurate and looking awesome. Tigger here with the custom molded head. He's got the extra like hip insert there that has a tail coming out the back, um, and he's carrying his little, like uh, knapsack accessory. Great printing on the arms and the tail, which really pulls it all together. Here's Winnie the Pooh, one of the more basic of the figures. You know, it still has an excellent custom molded head, which makes the figure pop. But outside of that, not a ton of detail. It's got a little uh, honey in his hand there. It is nice you actually get the t-shirt printing on the side of the arms there, so. Or dual mold, at least. That's probably how it's made. Here's Piglet. It's got an awesome scarf and a balloon. Um, not a ton of detail, but obviously an excellent molded head here, and it all comes together really well. Got some Star Wars coming up here. This is a turquoise astromech droid. I just think it looks super cool. It's a really unique color. You don't often see, uh, you don't often see a lot of bricks in this color. Uh, this is Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. I love how it's like after he broke his helmet and then like molded it back together, so you can see all the cracks in the print detailing on the helmet. That's really awesome. You don't usually get that kind of detail. This is Fennec Shand with her helmet. Uh, notable is that she's got some arm printing, which is not all that common, and super awesome custom molded helmet. Really impressed with this figure. Comes on uh, Moff Gideon's light ship. Next up, we have the Armorer. This comes from the set that also has the Mandalorian and Paz Vizsla in the Forge. Uh, some nice light printing going on here, and you can see the like fur, drape that she wears or whatever you want to call it on the back printed there. Here's Moff Gideon comes on his light ship. Uh, it's the only set that he currently comes with with the dark saber, which honestly they need to make a new molded piece for the dark saber uh, that they just keep using this black rod is ridiculous. It doesn't look good at all. This is the Paz Vizsla figure. Awesome, awesome torso, hip, leg, toe printing there. Like really detailed paints a full picture of his armor and the extra plastic armor piece over the shoulders. This is a super excellent figure, even printing on the side of the armor piece. It's incredible. Look at this Boba figure. He's got arm printing, toe printing, hip printing, just the full nine yards. I think this Boba looks awesome. This is after he repaints his armor uh, late in The Mandalorian Season 2. Stunning figure, in my opinion. Uh, we've got some Bad Batch figures here. This is my uh, pal, your pal, Rekka, uh, as Omega would say. And he's also got some printing on the side of his armor pieces, which is super cool. Custom molded helmet piece. Really like this figure. All the Bad Batch figures are awesome. I mean, look at this tech figure. Amazing face printing with his goggles going on. Amazing custom molded helmet. Some really detailed printing. Like these Bad Batch figures, I am very impressed by. This is Hunter. He's got the full printing all the way through, hip, toes. He's got printing on his helmet everything uh you know the silver like kind of gray metallic paint popping off really good figure uh and this is crosshair this guy sucks but his minifigure still looks really good not a fan of his character in the show but maybe he'll turn around season two and this is clone arc trooper corporal echo and he also looks awesome. He has the same kind of silver 
uh, brick color as Hunter does and it's pops. It pops. It looks awesome. Uh, this is one of the 332nd company. Uh, one of the troopers from the 501st that like went with Ahsoka uh, to the Siege of Mandalore and then painted their helmet afterwards. Uh, I'd love to get a bunch of these guys actually. This is an awesome figure. This right here is Imperial Artillery Stormtrooper that comes in uh, one of the Mandalorian sets. And I like this guy notably for his like cloth pauldron piece on the shoulder there. I think it looks super cool. Uh, this figure is not particularly notable except that it is Obadiah Stane, which means that it is the official Jeff Bridges minifigure. So eventually I'll probably be taking this face printing and some other Lego parts and putting together the dude. This here is Carnage, two long and two short appendages. Uh, super cool figure with printing that just goes through. Again, you'll see I love the figures where the printing goes from torso to hip to leg. So it's like one full situation. Just looks super complete. Here is Spider Ham. Uh, just wanted to put this guy in here. He's notable because he's got a custom molded headpiece that looks really awesome. Similarly to the Winnie the Pooh figures that we saw earlier. And uh, this is Green Goblin, uh, the bright green with the dark purple outfit. And I love that he's got this little satchel here that he can pull his little goblin grenades out of. Awesome custom molded piece with the hat and the ears. Very impressed by this figure. And lastly here we've got Spider-Man Miles Morales with the dark red hood. These last few figures, they came from the Daily Bugle set. This one's awesome. Uh, it's got a little more detail and character than the other Miles Morales figure, so I'm a big fan of this one. Please like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed this content, and let me know down in the comments what your favorite figure was from this video.